My name is Rochelle, I work at Frame Store and my job title is Groom TD. My job essentially is to add hair or feathers to creature work or to um, humans for like digital double sort of work and it's mainly for film that I work on the side for. We're usually in the pre-production side of departments because it's very early on that the look is developed so we're always involved in the very early stages of development in film. We are usually working with the model department and for the look dev department because the model is the first thing that we grab and we start applying hair to and then look dev is equally as important because that's when you start actually getting something that looks like hair or feathers. Look dev is the development development of the look of a creature or object so it would usually be applying shaders which would simulate the look of the creature or the hair. Particularly in the groom department we have to encounter various amounts of situations. For example there might be a character that is super close on screen to a character that's soaking wet or got sticky like marmalade or something on them and the grooms the groom artist's job is to build grooms for each of these situations, so there's not just one groom that fits every model. We have to think ahead and create different grooms for different situations. The most challenging thing can be the actual software itself. Sometimes it doesn't really behave how you initially anticipate, but you've got a great team behind you and they're always willing to push the software forward if it would help you. We use a proprietary software for Framestore called Hair Filters and it's been in major development for the past few months and it's come across in leaps and bounds thanks to the feedback from the artists. It's really great that Framestore will use their software developers and their artists to coincide with a better goal in mind. I went to university for starters. I did a BA course in computer visualization and animation. So that would definitely be very useful because the job that we do is very technical and it's kind of a hard thing to get into initially, but nowadays actually there's a lot of resources. Try all of the strains of VFX that come to mind, even the ones that are more niche, because you never know what skills will flourish. I was actually initially interested in texturing, but I also had experience with hair when I first um, completed my final major at university. And I just applied everywhere, and the groom department were the first people that contacted me. Well, recently I've been working on a really exciting project involving jungle animals. So I've been working on a variety of creatures from birds to wolves. Seeing big creatures come to life and film, that's always the most exciting part. The best advice I've been given in my career is to network because initially it took me quite a while to get my foot in the door in terms of the VFX companies because there's you're a little fish in a big pond. So who you know is always very useful. Go to events that are like advertising the company and sort of get your name forward. 